back. This is Tradius with some more Chicago Bears action. And we are now in the fifth week of our second season. We're topping the NFC North, which is a good achievement in my opinion. So self high five right there. And uh, we're going to be playing the Arizona Cardinals at home. Uh, the Cardinals have been a tricky team for us to play in the past. Um, and uh, well, I think we're in a better position now than we are uh, than we were last time we played them, which was last season. Um, but yeah, this week not a lot to take care of. Just players ready to negotiate. We're gonna dive straight in. I think it's Tevin Jenkins. Yes, it is. Um, well, he is the right guard. I think he is really uh, a good right guard, and I would really like to keep him around. Um, let's see, what would he like? This is actually not too horrible of an offer in total. Uh, over three years, I'm not sure uh, I want to give him that because I would rather give him a longer term deal and, uh, you know, just keep him around. The salary in total is uh, probably uh, a little bit more than I would like to pay. Uh, we're going to be going for the middle ground here. I'm going to give him five years, I'm going to give him 4.3, and I'm going to give him three mil. Let's see. All right. Offer is perfect. He's going to stay. That is good. 77 mil. Uh, we, we, we will sign, uh, still have to negotiate. We won't sign, but we will negotiate with Khalil Herbert and with Larry Borum and Jack Sanborn. And that is that. And then we can focus on, uh, you know, on uh, repeatedly improving the squad. Um, Let's take a look at, uh, at the Arizona Cardinals now. Probably no surprise right now. Kyler Murray is the franchise quarterback for uh, the for the Arizona Cardinals. He's still going strong. Um, he had a weird season in the 2022 season. He, he was partly very good, partly not so much. Um, throw power, medium accuracy, short accuracy, throw on the run, break sack. All right, that is good. Uh, we know that, of course, Cameron Ward, 2272, and Josh Rosen are the backup quarterbacks here. Halfback James Conner, I know him, I love him. He was fantastic for the Crusaders. AJ Dillon, uh, a former player for the Green Bay Packers, now with the uh, Cardinals here. Rashad Penny, another very, very interesting uh, running back. The former Seahawk, now a Cardinal, still a bird if you want to put it that way, but he is a very very good running back and this is a super tough running room even the worst one Keontae Ingram <laughs> even him is 79 rated that is a lot of running power right in right here fullback Derek Watt wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins still dangerous at age 31 uh, 32 of course uh, 18th ranked wide receiver um, I'm always going to show you this quickly, not going to dive too much in, but you can always pause the screen, of course. Uh, Rondell Moore, 24 and 84 overall. Another one of those very, very good wide receivers. Really more dangerous than he looks. Um, so I think very elite uh, wide receiver one, super good wide receiver two. Noah Brown is here as well, 28, 80. Don't really think that he's that much of a, of a fantastic player, but... Um, he is there, and he's not looking too bad. Amy Smith and Trey Nixon. Tight end Zach Ertz, fantastic veteran uh, tight end. We also had him on the Crusaders, and he was just so good. Catching awareness, really, really good. Behind him, Trey McBride at the 22 draft. Slowly but surely getting better. And Moliki Matavau. Left tackle, DJ Humphreys, 82 rated. Probably uh, a very solid player. Ah. Uh, Arizona Cardinal for quite a long time. Left guard Netani Muti. He was, uh, of course, in the uh, free agency. Ben Christman here. I don't know why I would go for Netani Muti uh, if I plan on getting a player like this in the draft. But now the problem is a luxury problem, of course. I know Netani Muti from the Dolphins rebuild. But uh, yes, just a very, very good left guard. Center Rodney Hudson. Super solid center. Justin Tedich behind him. And uh, Rodney Hudson has been with the Cardinals since the 23 season. Of course, the Las Vegas Raider before. Right guard, Will Hernandez, 28 and 82. TJ Bass behind him. Austin Jackson on the right tackle position, uh, the former Dolphin. Left edge, Miles Murphy, 22, 87, out of Clemson. Raymond Johnson, the third. Miles Murphy, an absolute beast at that position. Uh, we felt that quite a few times last season. He was very, very tough. 
coming after us. Zach Allen on the right edge, 27-82, and Oshawn Mathis. Uh, D-tackle Dalvin Tomlinson, 30-85. and 85. DeMond Payne Jr., a rookie with 84 rated. I'd actually slap him on the number one spot and uh, try to trade away Dalvin Tomlinson. Don't really need him, to be honest. Uh, I'm in a sort of Viking, formerly now with the Cardinals. Left outside linebacker James Houston, the fourth Cameron Thomas, Dylan Brooks. Again, Dylan Brooks, probably the one that I would slap into the number one spot. He's uh, almost as good as the starter, and he's way younger. Mid linebacker Zayvon Collins, ouch, Shadrach Banks, 69, and Kale Garrett. So luckily, no Isaiah Simmons here. But Zayvon Collins is just such a brutal player. He's so quick, he's so good, he's so good in the tackle. So there's hardly any stopping this player here. Right outside linebacker, MyJ Sanders, 26 and 80. Very good player, Dennis Gardeck behind him. Um, then we've got the cornerback room, Byron Murphy Jr., 87. Cam Smith, 2387. Oh my God, what a good player this is. What a fantastic uh, cornerback we have here. So CB1 and CB2, really very good. Marco Wilson, 80 rated. Noah Daniels, 72 rated. And Josh Thompson, 67 rated. Uh, Buda Baker, free safety, 28-95. I still think uh, this should be uh, this should be an X-Factor player. I don't really know why he's not third best uh, free safety. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that he's not, but he should be. Jalen Thompson at strong safety, 26-87. JD Coffey, the second. <laughs> That's a funny name, but okay. Um, he is looking very, very nice. Jalen Thompson here, 26. Where did he come from? Oh. Long-time Arizona player. There we go. Kicker, Kaimi Fairbairn. Peyton Henry behind him. Punter is Jamie Gillett. Uh, two veteran. Uh, punter right there. And um, apart from that, I think that gives us enough information to turn towards the weekly strategy here. Uh, defend the medium pass. I'm not sure about this one. I think we should focus on the short one. Um, I mean, the medium... <sighs> This is a hard one. I'm going to go with a recommendation here. I mean, whatever. Let's go. Practice intensity. Full pad training, of course. Yanitiki Uzoma gets full pad training. Bosa gets splits. Carter and Turner, let's go with splits. Uh, Beastly full pads uh, like this. Weaver, starters, uh, split and split and split. There we go. Usual setup. Nothing crazy here. Offensive game plan. What do we do? Blitz counter. Not too sure about that one. Um, I think we're limiting ourselves. I think we are. I want to bump uh, the running again. I think that is the way to go. Full pad training. Let's go with uh, full pad training for Justin Fields. For uh, the backups here. Let's go with splits here. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Injury, I know. But we're not going to think that way. <laughs> splits for the Titans and the offensive line. Everybody's going to go for the starter training. Just need to improve those players as much as we can. All right, we could Justin Fields here, James Brockermeyer, Max Brannon is here, of course, uh, but that is due to the fact that Logan Brand was once more injured. Ah, oh, Jesus, man. All right, we're gonna sack him five times, 20 points or less. Let's go for that. Let's go for 250 offensive yards and no sacks allowed. I think that sounds doable, right? Your offense has completed training. I don't want to see any injuries on the right-hand side. And so far, we are looking pretty good. All right. Defense is also looking pretty solid. High ankle sprain for Michael Jackson Sr. All right. This means that we need to check the depth chart again. We're going to upgrade the players, and then we're going to dive into that, of course. Jalen Carter gets an upgrade into Run Stopper. He's now 95 overall, of course, with the buffs that he gets from the play, from the uh, coaches, but I don't care about that in any way, shape or form. We are really improving the team uh, continuously here. Kenneth Murray Jr. also getting an upgrade. Field General now 87 overall, including the buff, of course. What an immediate improvement he has been to the defense. Jaquan Brisker, run support. There we go. 85 with an 86 uh, with a buff. Braxton Jones, left tackle, finally getting an upgrade here. 85. Uh, the 25-year-old player out of Southern Utah. That works for me. Cameron Dicker, let's put it into power. 
I need him to kick the ball really, really far. That's basically his job. Larry Boren will get an upgrade here into power. That is also nice that he's developing run block power. That is good. Chase Claypool. Really liking him. I really like him. He's a, it's just one of those likable players, I feel like. Former Notre Dame player. Kyla Gordon into man-to-man. -man. There we go. Upgrade for the cornerback. Aguille Hall, first upgrade for the rookie right there. He's got a normal depth trade, so we'll have to work hard. Plus, he's only my fourth, uh, fourth uh, wide receiver. But not to worry. Shamar Turner, immediately higher rank now than Justin Jones. James Brockermeyer also gets an upgrade. I think this is all because we got the, uh, uh, the 125 yards last season. JJ Weaver. Let's put this in the speed rusher. Six finger dude. <laughs> 23 years old. Avery Young also getting an upgrade here. Uh, the cornerback. Uh, next up, Aaron Beasley. Finally pushing into the green area. Run stopper. I'd really like to get him into the low 80s this season. I think we have to do that if we can't push him into these uh, into these areas. I feel like we really will have a problem. Jack Sanborn. There we go, midline backer. Could have probably gone gone for someone else, but okay. Darnell Wright. Samori, he's showing us uh, his left arm. What a beast. Right guard backup, but a very, very good one. Damon Miller gets a buff here for the free safety with the start of trait. That is good. Jeremy Ruckert. Possession. Nice. Lucas Van Ness. Let's put this into Run Stopper. He's a rookie and he still has some more time to develop, of course, at the left edge position. Um, but I feel like he will do well. Next up, Willie Lampkin. Some more points, of course, into power. Overview 95 is what he has right now. He needs quite a few more snaps. Noah Gindorf is a funny one, man. It's really funny. He does have good attributes here and there for the most part, especially the speed and so on. So as a third running, uh, third tight end, he does work well. But um, I don't think he's going to break into the team anytime. Uh, all right, here we go. Everything back to normal. Logan Brown ahead of Pierce Fisher, of course, because he's now finally higher rated. That did take some, uh, take some time here. But Alex Leatherwood is the backup here. Kokomet, Ruckert. All right. What about the receivers? That is looking set. I think I need to sort the cornerbacks. Kyler Gordon. Yeah, we need to sort the cornerbacks again. I'm going to shove Gonzalez up here. And I'm going to shove Avery Young up here like this. I want to reveal Gonzalez. If he's got a start of trade, I think we'll invest more time in him. Uh, we've got Avery Young here, who's already very, very good. Uh, Kyle Gordon, we've got Michael Ojemedea, Michael Jackson Sr., of course. Um, but overall, like, um, you know, we really have a very, very good setup at the moment here on defense. Um, Shemar Turner also finally overtaking Justin Jones with the overall, of course, and the age, making him way more interesting. Max and Brannon's here. The special teams, let's take a quick look here. Troy Franklin, of course, the kick and punt returner. Jesus Christ, 93-92. Well well-developed player i think we're ready to go i think off we go with another home game here in week five this time the arizona cardinals are coming to visit the chicago bears in this game here in chicago david montgomery last week 167 yards by doing that we unlocked quite a few bonuses towards your run game this and next week so let's hope that these help us um of course the arizona cardinals no slouch team either um and definitely higher rated than the LA Rams. So we're going to have to be very, very aware of what we're going to be having here. Again, the invisible entry by the home, uh, by the away team. That is a little bit scary. Who's number four with that super cool visor right there? All right, there we go. Everybody getting ready. Everybody warming up. I think we are really ready to start this game. Now, we're going to be first on offense. And we're going to start out, of course, with the run play. 
with David Montgomery here. No Isaiah Simmons. Let's see how that works out for the Cardinals. Are they going to be super weak? No, I don't think so. But um, there we go. I mean, Buda Baker is still very quick. Zavin Collins, of course, coming across as well. Zavin Collins is, a, <laughs> I would say, ready to be the antagonist of this game here. Because we are, uh, you know, going to be facing a very good mid linebacker here. Buda Baker as the backup, uh, you know, in the backfield. Also going to be quite tricky. And David Montgomery finds a gap. That was beautiful. Byron Murphy Jr., of course there. Buda Baker, of course there. And uh, David Montgomery just freezes. All right. Is he a robot? I do not know. Probably. Left-hand side run. David Montgomery. Another one we go. There we go. Kabam slam. Off we go. We find some space again. The left-hand side is looking very, very good for us at the moment. Season stats, 385 yards. I don't think that is in contention, but he was one of the offensive uh, players of the year last year. I like that. I really like I think that was very well deserved um, for our uh, running back here. Let's go the halfback zone. Wait, I think this, this should work. We can break through here. As always, I mean, it'll come down to... The blocking, very good blocking here. Uh, shove in the back foot by number 98. Arnold Mooney with an injury. Oh, well, that is not good. That is not good, but we're going to see if it's going to be critical. We have depth. So, I mean, I'm not going to say that we don't need him, of course, because that would be really asking for trouble. All right, go. Another fantastic run by David Montgomery. Off to the left-hand side. We're up at the 14-yard line already. Dislocated shoulder. Uh, we have to substitute him. Let's check out the depth chart for uh, the wide receivers. Darnell Mooney. All right. We're going to drag up. Uh, we're going to put Claypool at the number one spot. Going to put the GJ Hall here like this. And we're going to be dragging up. I'm going to be putting Khalil Herbert there. I don't think that we're ever going to use him, but I need all the other players in uh, other positions. So that should be that should be something that helps us. All right, let's go to where he left here again. David Montgomery, he's not breathing hard. Man in motion. Going to try and break through here. Huggins will try to do some blocking here. And uh, nope. Second and ten. We're not even going to get further. Classic case of uh, bunch up. Co commit is uh, here. Let's see. Good lofted ball. Do get a few yards, and that is that. Let's go with a with a flanker cross. Ikea Hall, but Chase Claypool. Oh man, I'm going to look for him. There we go. Fantastic catch by Chase Claypool. Taking over from Darnell Mooney here at the wide receiver number one. And I feel like... I feel like this is going to be a good fit. One foot, second foot, and I think he even put the foot down again. All right, there we go. Come on, defense. Defense holds them. That is awesome. Kyle Murray is stopped at the 29. And we get to go again. Gonna be trying to drag uh, the defensive players towards me here. Get the ball to David Montgomery. Far out. Number 20 was there. Second and four. Half back quick pace. Left hand side. Off we go. Well, that was a gap. That was beautiful. Awesome. Up to the 17 yard line. We get a first down. 26 seconds to go. No need for any stress. No need for any pressure here. We're just going to keep working forward. Our defense really helped us out immensely here. And off we go. Ball is live. A lot of stay farming. A lot of weird bunching. But second and four at the end of the first quarter. 
Again, the passing yards not insanely high. Our strength is, of course, the run play. Jesus, man. Can I get Cole Komet back there? Yes, I can. There we go. That was super easy. Why were they not covering him better? Cole Komet gets it done. As the Bears roar, he was free. Go free very well. We sort of worked out these... Uh, the starting uh, problems with the dropped balls i think that was that was hurting us a lot i feel like it's a little bit better this season so far i mean we can always we can always have stupid things happening but i th still think that this is something that has gotten better let's go david montgomery left hand side run do we find a spot here yes byron murphy jr of course stopping us no surprise there. He was always going to be there. But David Montgomery doing well. We've got momentum really, really established on our side now. It's hardly any problem there. Let's go the shallow cross again. Cole commit. Left hand side run. Ball is live. Off we go. And uh, that is. Uh, well, he was covered all the way. Still got the ball under control. We did. Have good coverage there by uh, Zayvon Collins. We're now going to go like this. Kunimis and Brown will be my uh, turnaround player right there. Question is, do I go with him? Nope. I'm going to go all oh, chase Claypool, man. <laughs> I was hoping to get a little bit further. There we go. I don't think that was Chase Claypool. I think that was Jeremy Rucker, just to be on the safe side here. I could check that, but I'm not gonna. Because, to be honest, it's not really not really gonna be much of an impact here. Yes, uh, Edith, that was uh, Aguille Hall. That was who it was. That is nice. And again, Cole Komet is absolutely free. And there we go. We're gonna walk it in. And we are in the end zone, man. We are so free on that side. Good God, man. Good Lord. Look at that. I mean, I was keeping an eye out for him, but he was just completely free. Shedding the tackle. Booty Baker as if he's not even there. What a freaking game call Komet is having. Wow. Wow. And our defense is absolutely bossing them. Absolutely bossing them. I don't know what is going on here. But of course, uh, we we really improve the defense. Oh yeah, that was that just took too long to develop. Number 98 never picked up on that. Um, could I have gone with someone else? Let me just check up on that one. Was there somebody else free? Hmm... I don't know. Could have gone on a long one there. Was commit probably. Well, that would have been risky. So, we do lose yards, which is not ideal. But clock is counting downwards. Chase Claypool. Good man. Good man. Fantastic catch. Justin Fields really putting that exactly where it needed to be. Let's go the red zone scissors here. David Montgomery outside run. Just going to go with him. Tell you what, we're going to call a timeout now. We will be attempting a field goal. 53 yards. Cam Dicker. Come on, man. Let's go. Ball is underway, and uh, that was actually pretty accurate. And we get it. Good thing we invested in the power. And it's between the six from Cam Dicker, because he's our kicker. I'm having way too much fun with that to drop it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to drop this. Chase Claypool. Interesting route. Interesting situation. Probably clogging up a little bit in the middle. Let's see. Do we adjust 
probably. Hmm, almost a pick. Again, too central that throw. Too central. That was not a, not a good choice by me. Should have gone for someone else here. Let's go. Equinemius St. Brown. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about, man. He is such a fantastic player. Getting around his defenders, getting into the free area, and then holding on to the ball, clutching it. Of course he's dropped balls over time. But he's so tough. He is so tough, man. Absolutely loving the player. Aguille Hall, let's see what he can do. 79 already, as a rookie. Is he gonna get free? Gonna go with a yes. And there we go. Fantastic. Byron Murphy Jr. of course with him. Trying to lock him down, but very precise ball here by Justin Fields. Nothing to be done by the Arizona Cardinals defense. And we're absolutely taking them apart. Jesus, man. We're in the third quarter, three minutes to go. I know everything can go wrong now, but I mean, let's be honest. Do we believe in, in, in everything going wrong right now? I'm not, and my voice is cracking because I'm just so excited. <laughs> Let's see, Claypool, probably my best bet here. And off we go. A runner is live. Secure catch at the 14-yard line. We're just moving forward here, Justin Fields with a super, super good long-term deal for us. 30 mil per year. I have to say, that is not even that horrible. Arizona challenges. Alright, it's under review. Hmm, I think he dragged it. The knee probably was down outside, but he dragged it. And of course it's going to count. Tell you what, let's go to the bench. Really liking Claypool at the moment. He's not a magician, but he's really, really doing well. Let's go like this. Flip it around a little bit. Coverage is better now. Coverage is better in this one. Previous one would have been nice, to be honest, but uh, let's adjust. Let's see just. Let's drag him around a little bit here, shall we? Chess Claypool, Equinemius St. Brown, Aguille Hall. We have a lot of options. And it's going to be Aguille Hall. And he gets it. He gets the first down. Awesome. First and goal. Are we going to be at the one yard line? And he's immediately making an impact here. Two yards. A strong toss. I don't think so. A stick. I'm not sure. Let's go with an inside zone split here. left hand side off we go is there a gap yes there is a gap and we're in david montgomery and another touchdown 30 nothing i i mean i fully expect them to get on the board in the in the uh, in the in the next drive or at least at least in the fourth quarter banks trying to stop us here nope defense holds him again Jesus Christ, Kyle Murray must be furious. Let's go to the next land here. Chase Claypool, left hand side. Gonna go towards the left hand side. Throw it away. Yeah. Wasn't really opening up. Wasn't really opening up. Let's go to the bench. I've got more options there. Harder for them to really control the skies there. Equinemius and Brown, good chance. A commit. Ruckert, Claypool. And that is Jeremy Ruckert. At, at some point in time, I did cut him uh, from the uh, Dolphins roster. Because... I don't know who we got in. I think it was, was it Tyler Higby? I, I just don't remember. But we, we, 
really brought in a fantastic tight end and he just wasn't really up to snuff anymore um michael mayer was doing all the heavy lifting anyways so that was that but here i do see him uh you know i do see his value 100 yards again on the day we're at the 47 halfback iso and I'm going to tell you something. I'm really enjoying throwing the ball with, uh, with Justin Fields. It just feels so good. Sometimes things don't work out the way I imagine them, of course. But whatever. Basically, he just feels way more, uh, you know, way, way more responsive in comparison to... Uh, to Tua and also Talia but Talia was you know we started out with him and he was a, a low 70s rookie comparable to Tyler Buckner that we just played for the Rams there we go just gonna get that first down that is all I want to get number 96 is there to stop us inside zone left hand side run again momentum fully stacked our way we're going to go with the four verticals. Going to get David Montgomery here. Just break through. There we go. Short pass. And now we're going to pick up a few yards. And by few, I mean eight. Justin Fields having a field day today. Justin Fields having a field day at Soldier Field. Thanks, guys. I'll be here all night. Or all week. Or whatever. You want to you wanna put it in there. All right. Off we go. Next run. Another first down. Hard hit, but the ball stays securely. Two minute warning. 94 will. Left hand side run. In the two minute drill. We're going to go for a mesh here. Let's get uh, Quinimius and Brown over there. <laughs> Probably a little bit too hard. Double coverage. But. Whatever. We're going to start a run now here. David Montgomery. Let's go towards the left-hand side. Going to try and punch through. Get a few yards. Well, no punching through here. Byron Murphy Jr. does come across and stop us here. It's still 30 nothing. Just going to put that out there. 24 zone open. Left-hand side run. Uh, Right-hand side run. Starting on the left. And they're not calling a timeout yet. Number nine. What a takedown. 91. Whew. Fourth and three. Do we go for a field goal? Do we go for a middle slant? I'm going to go for a middle slant. Troy Franklin, first time on the field. Let's see. Let's see if we're going to be punished. Nah, we're not. Equinemius and Brown, first down. And they're still not calling a timeout. I mean, to be honest, they're just way too far gone. I, I wouldn't expect them to fight for this but I mean still let's go to play action flood here gotta go crazy gotta go with record here and uh, going back to what I just said I'm not gonna go with the record because he was not gonna get free half back dive 25 22 we're just gonna let the clock run down here a little bit more I go for a drag wheel Let's go for a mesh ball. Let's set this up quickly. It's not going to take too long. Equinemius to Brown here. Going to go over towards the right-hand side. We're going to get this play underway. <laughs> and that's exactly the one that we got picked against the Vikings. And here, Ruckert steps ahead. He sort of learned from his mistakes, I would like to say. And we get a touchdown in the final seconds. Stepping ahead of saving Collins. Awesome job, man. Awesome job. Bam. Good job, guys. And that is that. That is going to be the game. What an insanely gay, insanely good game we had. 36 nothing. Justin Fields, 146.1 rating. 
80% completion rate, four touchdowns, 239 yards. Comparable Cal Calamari, 96-0. Rushing side, 170. We were so dangerous through the air, on the ground. They couldn't do anything about that. Receiving Colt Komet, two touchdowns. Chase Claypool, one touchdown. Rondell Moore, Aguilla Hall, Trey McBride. Didn't get anything to Troy, frankly. Would have liked to do that, but okay. Jesus, we got five sacks. That is awesome. Solo tackle leader, Byron Murphy. Total tackle leader, 11. Okay, makes sense. 2.5 sacks again for Nick Bosa. That is exactly what we brought him in for. That is exactly what I brought him in for. I want to have him rushing and harassing the opposing quarterbacks. This is the, the X factor that I was looking for. Jalen Carter, 1.5 superstar player, Kenneth Murray Jr. And Max Brannan combining for another sack. So I think in total we got five, achieved the target, no interceptions today. What a great game. Wow. Guys, Jesus. The, the Arizona Cardinals on paper, look at the stats. 83 versus 83, 88 versus 88, 85 overall, both. They were 3 and 1, we were 3 and 1. That was a good clash. But they had no chance. And once more, I have to say I love Madden for this. This was due to the game plans, due to the uh, playbooks. Just co complimentary. You know, we got Kokmet free twice so easily. One resulted in a touchdown. That was basically down to mismatch. Fan freaking tastic. What a great game. 36-0. No fault anywhere. We get another win. We're 4-1 right now. That is very nice. Next week, Houston Texans away. Um, and then the Jacksonville Jaguars away before we return home against the Colts again. I love the game. Love this game. It never felt easy. Never felt easy. But it was. It just worked. It, everything worked in our favor. So that was awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Drop me a like and subscribe if you did. Just means a lot. And as you know, it just helps the channel. Try to reach 1,000 subscribers. That's basically the huge milestone that is still far away on the horizon. But each and every subscription helps. So every one of you, thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of this experience of mine here on YouTube. As always, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Hope to see you next time.